is told and I am 60 years old when I meet you. In 2013, President Obama cited Freshly Ground as an example of what South Africa has given the world. And lead singer Zalani Mahola brought Zazi Bastian Mahola Klem into our world. I love the hair, look at that. Thank look you, this is Zazi. Remember Zazi? Zazi. Yay, yeah. how's it going? Good, come inside, have a seat here. Thank you very much. You know, they say creating an album is like having a baby. You know, you nurture it for so long and it takes so much work. But let's be honest, it's not even remotely the same, right? Yeah, yeah, your album doesn't just run away from you when you're trying to get it to stay. And how has having a baby changed everything? The main thing is that my priorities have shifted. You know, for so many years, it's been about just career, career, and me and my husband. But now it's even more about career, but in a different kind of way. I've got to make this thing work for him. And what does he think of mom's business? I'm sure you sing to him all the time. He loves music, you know, I mean, I have this memory of being eight months pregnant and I'm dancing and I'm, so when I was that pregnant, I wasn't being all genteel, I was still. So whenever a song comes on or whatever, he's just, he always gets into the rhythm, you know, he always just like starts, you know, I think, I think that's definitely got something to do with it. What has motherhood been like for you? And I never knew what an anxious person I could be before I became a mother. I realize now how much I miss having my mother around. I mean, my mom passed away when I was about six. What advice would your mom give you if she was around? I'm not sure what she would say because I didn't really know her. But I would hope that it's something similar to what I would say to, to Zazie. You know, Zazie, by the way, means know yourself. And I think I would say, want to say something like that about feeling secure in the world. It makes me think of when I was a kid, we used to be in the combi and I always put my head, you know, to the side of the window and feel the sun on my skin and feel almost like that was God's love, like shining on me. And I would hope that's something that he would feel in the world. Wow, that is beautiful. Well, it's an incredible day. Why don't we get outside? Zaz's mom has gone from Bishu to New Brighton schoolgirl, receptionist to UCT drama student, lead actress to chart-topping musician. Quite an example. One of the other great things about kids is that they keep you young and healthy because you're always running after them. Is that how you stay healthy? Because you look really good. Thank you, Nico. I started running, you know, and that's been a lifelong dream of mine. I've always just had this image of myself running and being a runner. I, slowly but surely, I saw my body changing, you know, and just my whole world changing, really. And it's changed your hair. Oh, yes, yes, there was that change as well. I got weaving. <laughs> Well, you know, you've always had a very unique sense of style. What inspires it? For me, that's about just saying also to young girls that it's such a wide world and there's so many options open to us. You can play, just feel free, you know, don't, you don't have to be caged in doing the same old things that everybody keeps on doing. Their unique and original sound also has a sense of freedom. Well, you know, no matter how much you change, the one thing you will never get away from is that iconic song, Dooby Dooby Doo. Do people still come up to you and sing it to you in the street? Oh, you better believe it. I mean, like, oh, some people actually even call me Dooby. Hey, Dooby! Hey, Dooby! They really do, like literally. All these years on, I mean, we released that song about over 10 years ago. Isn't that insane? Another song that had a profound impact on the globe was, of mm. course, Waka Waka. Yes, no, that was an incredible experience. I mean, that song is a Cameroonian song, so it was really nice kind of having, around the time of the World Cup, having people from all over the continent singing that song back to us. This time for Africa. And what's going to be really great is I'll be doing a big North American tour. That's what's coming up for us now. We're going all around the States and we'll be in Canada as well. Currently rehearsing for their tour, on the band's last trip, they played the famed Apollo Theatre, and their album, Take Me to the Dance Floor, topped the US iTunes World Music Chart. So, much is expected this year. I've just spent some time with the new addition to Zelani's family, and I'm, I'm wondering if motherhood has changed her, if at all. I don't think motherhood has necessarily changed Zelani. I think she's grown an enormous amount in the last year and a half since Zazie's birth, and she's a wonderful mother. Well, you guys have been together for many years now as a band, and you're still on fire, still making it work. Simon, what do you think it is that keeps the band going strong? It's, you know, we've been together for 10 years, and, and it means we've been, well, over 10 years, but, you know, it gives us the space to, to play and experiment with different things, you know, so different producers, uh, different musicians. Chris is a, a recent addition to the band. 
So, you know, we've got the space to play, which I really enjoy. And I think that keeps it fresh. So, Lani, what's the inspiration behind Don't Leave Me? You know, the song, it came out of a workshop kind of a little jam, but much like this scene that we just walked into here. Just a banjo, a couple of guitars. I mean, Simon just recently picked up the banjo and it has a very different element to the music than anything that we've had before, like an open, wide, expansive sound that we've got going to the song. And what about the music video? Well, the videographers who made the video, they are documentary filmmakers called Go Trolley, and they picked up on a theme in the music which is to do with connectedness, between people and also an insecurity about losing that connection and I think that they really did a beautiful job of expanding on that feeling of kind of making it about the greater South African landscape than perhaps what we initially kind of had, had meant in the writing so I, I think they did a fantastic job. When we arrived you guys were messing around with the acoustic version of the song I'd love to hear some of that do you mind? Okay okay I think we can do that for him. Top billing here it comes. <laughs> My fingers told and I am 60 years old when I meet you Meet you outside hall somewhere in the greater world What's a nice thing like you doing in a place like this? You suck as you, but something similar before I stood In front of you, I was falling out of my skull I ask you your name and you say, don't you know by now? Don't you know by now? 